<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another Building Kashyyyk weekly segment. Alright guys, so I told you this is going to be an extra special um, Kashyyyk segment. Not because of a bunch of building. Um, I actually wasn't able to do as much building as I had hoped to. But instead, as the title says, I'm going to challenge you guys. And I'm going to challenge you guys um, with a pretty cool kind of thing to do. And there's going to be an awesome prize. So at the end of the video, I'll explain what I'm challenging you guys on. And the prize, hint, hint right here, um, is going to be something really special. Um, so definitely stick to the end of the video, guys. You're going to really like it. Um, we're going to be focusing on some lights. Um, the inner base is what we're going to be working on today. And um, at the end, I'm going to uh, have you guys build something with LED, and there's going to be a really cool prize with doing that. And you're also going to be limited to the pieces you're allowed to use as well. So it actually creates kind of a really neat challenge. Um, so yeah. Uh, lastly, guys, I want to say again, thank you. Uh, I said this in a quick update video, and I'll say it again. But thank you guys. Um, I uh, made an apology video out to everybody for a mistake I had made in a video that was actually taken down by me because it just got too much negative responses. I'm going to remake that video later um, for those of you who actually know what I'm talking about. But I wanted to again say thank you very much to any of you who uh, watched that video and, and uh, commented on that. Like, you guys were awesome in that video, so thank you. Um, now, uh, without ado, let's get on to some ki uh, Kashyyyk, not Kishik. Um, Kashyyyk building. I, it's been three weeks since we had a segment, so without ado, guys, let's get back into the mock. Okay, guys, so starting off our pretty cool Kashyyyk segment is the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to be focusing on the back um, of Kashyyyk, so this big mess over here. Um, and what I've already started doing is we originally had this plan where we were just going to like build up these like towers right here and like have this open space or something like that. Um, I've decided to go a different direction, just build whatever I want to build back here. And this is going to be the first thing, and right now you can see it's basically a big giant square at the moment. Um, this is going to be a little platform for our turbo tank right here. And I'll actually here, show it to you. It's going to be a big platform, it's going to have lights and stuff. There's going to be like these towers of lights on each end and it's going to light up the uh, the turbo tank. We're going to have some like filling gas stations right here filling up the, the tank and like some clones having lasers. It's going to be like a, or, you know, because I, I came to the decision like, okay, Kashyyyk has all these turbo tanks, they have the uh, AT-APs. We need to be focusing about that, not really gunships or anything because we never saw gunships on Kashyyyk. Um, so I think, well, except for in the Republic Commando scene, but you get my point. So um, I'm having like a refill station here for the turbo tank, and I think it looks great. I'm definitely going to keep the side, you know, that, that electric station we have right there. That's going to stay the way it is, um, but uh, I'm just going to do whatever looks good, and I think this is going to look really cool. As for what's going to be right here... I don't know yet. I'm just gonna build and see what I do with it. Um, if I might, it's just for you know. Sometimes not having a plan and just taking the brick and just starting to build something. That's probably the most fun thing to do, and that's what I'm gonna be doing throughout the segment. Is just building stuff and seeing how it looks, and hopefully it comes out pretty well for you guys. Um, so now something I I want to show you guys, and you're probably wondering like why is these uh, plates spaced out like that? Um, and why are these bricks spaced out like that? Well, one reason obviously is to save, uh, save some money, you know, use less bricks. Um, you know, you don't have to have all the bricks together. You can space it out and still get the same, um, stirability. Um, you know, it's just like arches and bridges sort of, um, just in a very simple way of looking at it. But the actual reason is take our big bag of bricks is so we can wire lights through here so these uh, gaps and openings are going to allow us to run this like this is the wire right here we can run multiple wires through here and get wherever we need to and then uh, once we feed it up to the plates area you know these wires aren't the easiest to hide they're pretty easy but not too easy um, so then what we're going to do is uh, I show, I, so I've showed this guy uh, this concept to you guys before but we're gonna put the plates on here like that and the wire's thin enough that it can actually fit between that uh, that groove right there, that opening from here to here. That's enough, That that's all we really actually need. So that's what I'm doing with that and you'll see how that kind of turns out. So I wanted to 
show you guys what this looks like. Man, everybody just keeps on texting me. Um, but yeah, I want to show you the, what that looks like. And uh, hope you guys like it. And we're definitely going to continue on from here. And I'll show you where it goes. Let's go. Okay, guys. So um, I went ahead and covered it all up. Um, the square is what we're going to call this. And now I've started installing the lighting. Uh, just for the bottom floor, there's going to be upper lighting as well. But the first thing we're going to start with is the downstairs or the uh, floor lighting. Now the floor lighting is probably the easiest for a couple reasons. Um, but what I have going on here is I have eight different lights. So there's a floor light here. The little lights in there. See it's kind of sticking through the hole there. And the light kind of runs out. Um, and then runs all the way to this board right here. And there's four of them in each corner. One here, one here, and one here. Um, so that's four in the uh, main corners, as you can see. Then I did four more um, in like the center corners, or the center square, I guess you could say. So there's one here, there's one here, there's one here, and there's one here. So that's eight. So the four on the corners here, there, 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 and there. Uh, have all been wired up. They just pretty easy. To, that, that's again the space, and you can kind of see how this really comes in handy. They all four of them just wired up to this board right here. Now the wiring for the middle four are a bit different because um, the lights I used are about the cords. This, this is it. I'm holding right here. It's really long, as you can see. Um, they are I think 12 inches, I believe, um, a foot, um, which is a good length. You need really long lights for a couple reasons. Um, but now I want to show you guys how I, I uh, run the wires for this one right here. I ran the wire back because the cord's pretty long. So I uh, ran the cord back, looped it around, and pushed it back through here, then connected to the board. So I'm just going to um, show you how I connect the other um, three and uh, let you guys watch. And um, I'm not going to speed it up or anything. I'll talk as I wire it. Um, because I, I get I get a lot of questions, David. How do you run your wires? How do you how do you make it look like there is no wires? Um, again, you know the spacing is really key. Now, since I've wired uh, the, these two have been wired, so uh, have been pushed into the lights, and there's two bricks here holding the lights down so they don't move from their positions. Um, if you just leave the lights there, then they'll just get out of position and they won't be perfectly um, in there and you won't get the maximum light out of the little hole you have here. Um, now, so what I'm just going to do is just kind of push it through here. It's really relatively simple. But uh, I, have so I have a gap between here, so I'm just going to push the wire, this wire right here, just push it through. And um, we can just uh, easily hook it up. So push this one against that same hole you gotta you gotta have good fingers um, you don't really if you have thick finger thick fingers it's a <laughs> it gets tricky pretty fast um, we actually don't even need that much slack but anyhow so we have the two wires here and now I'm gonna do is just uh, plug them in um, you only go in one direction, so it's a bit tricky to make sure uh, you uh, get them right. Sorry, my hand's blocking it. Um, anyhow, so those two are plugged in now. Now the last one right here. And just plug it in right here. Alright, so we have a, a lot of slack with this one, so we're just going to bend it around. See that I wanted to show you guys how I wired this before I get all you know because it's gonna start looking very confusing very fast. Um, so I wanted to show you guys this before it got really confusing and whatnot with with all the wires and, and stuff. All right, so that is all wired up. We can start to put the plates back on. And um, I'm sure some of you are like, David, this board right here, you know, you can't cover it up. Well, thanks to Br uh, Brick Stuff, who designed the lights, his lights, his light boards. Um, I have it on two little studs right here that are it connects onto, um, onto the base plate. And that is actually the perfect height. That's right. This goes down flush 
with the Lego brick over the board with the wires connected. So like that. So it doesn't even look like it's there. That's why I choose his stuff over like life lights. He has the advantage with his stuff blending in much easier with the Lego. Um, and I really like that. Um, that's, that's really like everybody asks, you know, why do you choose this over life lights? And there is your big answer right there. So now we're covering it back up. You guys are starting to see, you know, what exactly I did. Maybe you got a little confused in the, uh, in the beginning there. Um, but now you can definitely see what I did here and we're going to test out the lights. <laughs> you don't want to, you don't want to cover it all back up and then find out, Oh, I screwed something up. Um, so always, always test your lights um, before you like build a whole bunch of crap on it um, because you just might regret it later. Um, so yeah. All right. So now you guys can see it's all covered back up now for the most part. Um, and now we're gonna go test out the lights. Um, and you know what? I just forgot something. <laughs> I am not the smartest with this uh, let's see here we need to open this back up because we forgot to run our so this wire right here this is what's going to connect this is going to go out this way and connect to the in the overall circuit so we just need to plug that in right here and we'll be good to go so that is that. So I'm uh, I'm gonna leave that, cover this back up, and uh, get this circuit out that way, and then we'll test the lights, and I'll show you guys that. So let's go. Okay, guys. So here's the results of the lights. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, flip the switch. I've uh, wired. Uh, this comes all the way up to here. I have uh, these extra lights just chilling out here. It's just another circuit board, which wired over to this circuit board in here. Um, so we're gonna flip it on. And all of the lights are very much working. Focus. Slowly. There we go. Okay. So you'll see that all the lights are working now. All eight. Um, I think the lights actually kind of messing with my camera's focus for some odd reason, but um, you can see that they are all working very much and I'm using the cool white I don't like the yellowish tint lights um, so they come out pretty well Let's see if I can't focus it that way okay yeah the lights just are screwing with me uh, screwing with my camera's focus for some odd reason but uh, yeah this is those lights the cool white looks way better if you ask me it's got a nice um, white light which I like a lot better but, uh, yep, all the lights work, and we have floor lights, so I can cover all this up and start actually building on the floor. So, the exciting part starts now. Okay, guys, so, now I've, uh, started detailing it, and as you can see, it's looking pretty good so far. Um, I really like how it's coming out. Um, so as you can see, um, I, this, uh, kind of pattern going on is, like, kind of X- um, I thought it looked cool, you know, I mean, I don't really think it matters what it looks like, but, uh, I went ahead and made it look something different, and, uh, I like it, looks good. Um, I like the fact how when you, like, turn your angle with these, uh, with these, like, uh, groove tiles, um, it sort of, like, changes the perspective, so, like, you can see the studs here, and you can see the studs here, but you can't see the studs there, so, I like how that kind of works, and it looks really good, too. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Um, now I'm going to work on the towers and uh, once I get the towers in, I'll put this stuff on and, uh, we'll get to kind of the finishing part, I guess you could say. So let's keep on going. Okay guys, so I've, uh, I've tried my attempt at building a column and this is what I came up with. Um, it's okay. Um, it looks decent, I think. Um, you know, it looks decent. Um, and you know, that would go at this corner, and it'd be at this corner, and, and this corner down here. 
But you know what? I told you guys this is going to be an extra special um, Bernie Kashyyyk. And the reason why is because I'm going to let you guys design this column. Um, so this is my attempt. Not the greatest. Not the strongest either. Um, but it looks decent. But, you know, could, could use some things to it. Um, so I want you guys to design your own column. But what's going to be a challenge about this, guys, is the fact that I'm going to limit you on the pieces that you can use. You're going to use a digital designer to design it. And there's going to be an awesome prize for whoever uh, designs the coolest column. Not only will it be featured um, in, in the Kashyyyk mock, but you'll also get a really cool prize as well. So that is what we're going to do next. Um, I don't want you guys, please ignore the mind design here. I don't want you guys to take inspiration off this. I want you to guys think of your own designs and please stay as far away from this design as possible. And I'm going to explain the rules starting now. Okay, guys, so for those who want to participate in this challenge, there's going to be a really cool prize that I'm going to explain to you guys at the end. Um, but first, let me show you all the pieces that you can use. You're going to be using Lego Digital Designer. It's free software. All you have to do is download it on your computer, and all of these pieces will be available in the Digital Designer. So you're limited to only the pieces that I'm going to show you right here. And you're only limited to the colors options as well that I show. So, guys, any column that any column um, uh, that I see that has different colors or different pieces that are not in here will automatically dis be disqualified for the prize. Now you're welcome to submit columns that um, don't have the pieces but you won't be eligible for the prize so kind of what's the point there. Um, now the reason why I'm limited to these pieces is because I want to actually make your column and get it made as fast as possible so I don't have to order special pieces and, get, uh, and wait for more BrickLink orders that I've been waiting on for a while now. Um, anyhow so you're going to be building on this size. So this is your column the space right here. Try to fill it up as much as possible. And you have to build up at least 24 bricks from the top, from uh, this. So this is a four. Uh, this is an eight by eight stud plate right here. Um, I'm just using two plates. You can just use one. But uh, this is an eight by eight plate, and you're going to be building on this. And again, there's going to be four columns of this. So keep that in mind. Um, so you're gonna have this area of space you need to build it up 24 bricks and on, at the top of the column There has to be another flat surface because there's gonna be a bridge connecting all the way around that area So you have to make sure that you can connect a bridge to it And you have to make sure it's 24 bricks high and you have to make sure it fits within this space All right now on to the pieces that you're limited to so you got about a I got about a billion of these so use as many of these um, grill pieces as possible I have uh, some of these, so you're welcome to use those. Got these, these, these pieces, which are pretty cool. Um, these. Um, I have a lot of these plates. I actually got more over here. So, yep, these are uh, the two by four plates. These uh, dots right here. Um, these plates. Um, these slopes. Um, this piece with the holes. And I think this is the coolest piece. I want to see what you guys utilize this. These. I have about a billion of these pieces right here. Um, this entire bucket is full of them. Um, we have this piece right here in this color. Remember, you have to st stick to the colors that I show you. I got uh, uh, these right here. A couple of those. This piece, which is very neat. Um, and then I have uh, this, this piece. Don't ignore other pieces. But this piece and this piece and these two colors you can use. And then this piece right here. And the last thing is not over here, actually. Oh, nope, it's over here. Sorry. The last two pieces you can use um, are actually a couple pieces. Um, we have this right here, this, these. So the two by two brick, um, these plates, and this piece. And this piece and this tile so all of these pieces and all of these pieces you can use in the column design and remember 24 bricks high uh, on this plate and has to connect to a bridge this way and this way so you know it's a four it's a four-way thing 
That's it guys. Sorry it's a little bit to take into, but I think you guys will like the challenge. I have always wanted to do something like this. I want to see what you guys can do. I'm not trying to be lazy. I could definitely make a really cool column design, but I want to see what you guys have to make. Plus, I think you guys are going to really like the really cool prize. So I'll do you guys. We'll end off the segment. I'll talk more about this. And again, these are all the pieces you use. I gave you the rules. Stick to the rules. Stick to the colors. Stick to the details. Don't run off and go do something else. Um, just stick with all this stuff. All right, guys, let's end it off. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. Now, let me get straight into this challenge. First of all, guys, you're going to be winning this guy. This is in episode Star Wars Episode 7, which comes out for hardcore Star Wars fans out there. Know that it comes out in December 2015 next, next year, which won't be really next year in a bit. But uh, anyhow, since we're at the end of 2014, this is my episode seven custom printed minifigure. It's not decals, it's not Sharpie, it's printed. Now the helmet's decaled though. Um, the uh, body, um, the arms, the side legs, the back legs, the back torso, everything's printed on this guy. Um, and on top of that, you get the uh, our new friend, John Boega, or his name's Finn, apparently, in the Star Wars universe. You get his, uh, a custom printed head of it. You get the cool new Stormtrooper helmet. I'm actually playing a little, I'll play a little video right here, show you the detail on this guy. Um, and he's really neat. I really love him. You get the, you get, you know, a lot of detail. Now this figure was, uh, I've never sold the figure with the helmet. Nobody's ever gotten this helmet. Um, it's actually exclusive just for me up until now. So one of you guys, um, who are going to part uh, participate in this challenge, this Lego building challenge, you have the chance to win this guy. If you get the best looking col uh, column based off of you know detail and what you did and design wise and, and you actually you, uh, you stick within the 8x8 uh, plate, you built 24 bricks high and you made so bridges connect, a bridge uh, um, from both ends can connect to it and you stuck within the pieces that I have available then you have the ability to win this guy for free. I'm gonna ship him to you anywhere in the world. You could be in Spain, you could be in New Zealand, you could be in Australia, you could be anywhere in the world, even the US of course, and you can get this figure. I will ship it to anyone in the world for free. The figure itself is valued about 30 to $35 because of all the custom printing and the custom helmet and the custom decals and, the, and all the work that went into this little figure. It's valued it is very high. And you're gonna be the only one except for me to have this figure with this helmet. So, it's a pretty awesome prize if you ask me, especially if you're a Star Wars fan. Um, so, again, please use a LEGO Digital Designer where you submit your column design. Submit them to the link down below. You're gonna send them via email to my, I think it's solbrickstudio at gmail.com. The exact email is in the description. That's where you're gonna be sending it to. All you guys have to do is um, use the pieces, use the guidelines, and that's it. And you have a, you have the chance of winning this guy. And um, probably you're going to get about 100 entries, so you, you have a really good chance um, uh, of what happens. So again, send your designs, and make sure you stay within the guidelines of what I explained to you in the video. And you have the chance of winning the figure for free. Shipping's free, the figure itself is free. It's all in the house, it's my Christmas gift to you guys. All right, so why did I do this? Why did I challenge you guys? Uh, I'm sure I get the comment. I'm sure some of you's gonna comment, oh, David's just lazy, he's using his fans to do his designs for him or some BS like that. No guys, not that's not it at all. Um, you know, I designed it, you know, my, I, ha I showed you guys my design of the column. I didn't like it um, and you know, I could probably go back and redo it again. I actually went through two versions and I came out with that one. I still didn't like it. Um, and I'm sure I could go back and get another design, but I want to see. We I want to get fan input, and I think this is a really neat way of doing that. Um, instead of asking, you know, hey guys, should that piece should that be there? I want to see what you guys design. I want to give you guys something really cool. If it's the design that gets um, into Kashyyyk, and I like it enough that wow, I should actually this should be used because the designer did such a good job. Of course, you'll get credit for all this. Um, so, you know, I wanted to see what you guys had to do. Plus, I know you, a lot of you guys are on your uh, Christmas break, wherever you are in the world. Um, so, I'm sure some of you have some free time, and I think this would be a really neat time, especially around this time of the year. So, you know, I think, I think it's a really neat idea, and I hope you guys do too, and I hope a lot of you guys uh, participate in it. Again, you get a really cool prize. Now, there's only this prize. There's no second or third place prize. Um, maybe I maybe I'll give you like a like a 25% off minifigs for you uh, code if you want it. 
um, if you if you got like second or third place or something like that. The next Kashyyyk segment, will I'll unveil the winner, and um, his name will be announced in the video as well. So you get some awesome YouTube-ness. I'll link you down in the description and whatnot. So, yep, that's it, guys. So um, that's it to that. And uh, I know I know I didn't do as much building as I had hoped. Um, it's just this time of the year I've had to do Christmas shop. I'm working on three other videos at the same time. I've uh, I have to work on my minifigs for you site. There's a lot of you know I have to print the custom minifigures for that site. That's a lot of work. That actually takes on a lot of time. Um, and uh, you know, I've actually been buying some Lego sets for charity and whatnot. Um, again, just a lot of work has a lot, a lot of things that you don't guys, you guys don't see that I've been doing. Uh, plus, you know, I have a personal life as well, family, friends, girlfriend, etc. Um, that's all very important. All right. Well, this has been a pretty long segment, um, but yeah. I challenge you to do the LDD challenge, guys. Make the column using the pieces, using the guidelines, and you have a chance to win this figure. That's going to be it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'll see you guys back on the Friday. I think uh, it'll be the, I don't know, whatever the next Friday is after the 26th. Not next Friday, but the Friday after that. So, yeah, I think that's like a week or two from now. Yeah, that's it. You guys have a great, wonderful day. Bye-bye.